Corruption has killed more people than the civil wars combined in Africa. And yet we treat it with velvet gloves. We glamorize these individuals. We continue to elect them in office. They bribe us with 500 naira, 500 cities, 20 kwanza, and we continue to elect them. And then they claim democracy. I've always said, and, and I think that this, sometimes you've got to raise things to the level of the absurd. Because what does corruption do to, to a country? Yeah. Look, look at the, the thieving ways of Mobutu Sese Seko in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo has never recovered from the thieving of Mobutu and his acolytes. How many people did not have medicine? in hostels, including a hostel named after his own mother, Mama Yemo in Kinshasa. How many died? Perhaps more than in the Holocaust. How many people have died in the Cameroons in the 30 years that Paul Beer has been the president through corruption and all that money is tucked away in Paris in France? How many people die in our roads because of potholes, because some government official took away money that ought to have been used to make good roads. So this is a crime against humanity, for which punishment should be the ultimate punishment. And in China, they do exactly that. They come to this part of the world, they corrupt our leaders. But if you are corrupt in China, they'll deal with you firmly, swiftly, and take away your life so that you are no longer a danger to society. I believe that corruption should be a crime against humanity. Because the, the impact of corruption in Africa in many areas, how many people are maimed because we imported polio vaccination that were not potent so that somebody could buy a mansion in Florida or some other island in the United States of America or in the Caribbean? How many? How many of the roads here in Nigeria, how many have been involved in defense contract corruption so that we have in a situation where we cannot have things that we ought to deserve? I mean, it has been more pernicious than any other thing. You know, sometimes in, a, in an interview setting such as this, we appear to be intellectualizing about it, to be philosophizing about it, but if we walked out two kilometers away from here, here within Lagos, there are real things. There could be testimony of a woman who delivered on the roadside because there was no health facility. There are real issues in Africa, very real. Perhaps sometimes we should take these interviews there so that they are testimonies.